Hey gents, it's me, Tomato, back here bringing you a game that I totally didn't fuck up recording the first time because I hadn't played it in like three months and forgot every single mechanic. Um, this is Victory and Glory Napoleon. Uh, in this I'm going to be playing the long campaign from 1800 to 1815. That's if all goes as planned and I managed to, you know, subdue Prussia and Austria and Egypt and all of Italy, and some Spain, a bit of Portugal, Egypt, portions of Russia, like the western part, maybe London. To be honest, you know, just that much. It's not much. Anyway, we'll probably play it at general, just because no advantage to either side. That's fine. Not the best player in the world. Not the worst. I do want to win. It's no fun losing because I look stupid. So we start off. We got a bunch of people over here in France. That's shitty. We need to get them doing something productive, like not being in France. And um, we got some dudes down here in Egypt. That's cool because having Egypt is awesome. And it makes me feel good. So the first thing to do is to get Napoleon, Napoleon over here into Switzerland. And to get this French army in Switzerland to bro out with Napoleon. Meanwhile, this French army in Lorraine is going to march into bottom Württemberg. And they're just going to have the biggest party. Alright. So. We're going to go ahead and deploy ourselves like this. Actually, no. I'm gonna go ahead and throw down one of those good defensive terrain cards. What's this? What does that give me? Oh. That's a very nice one. Now, I would really like to be able to have, um,. Called. I really would have liked that to be just about anywhere else because right now that really limits things and makes my cannon the strong unit because I can't mix and match my units anymore. I suppose I could whoop, I could pull my cannon back off the line, pull this infantry off the line, put the infantry in there and put that in there, which gives the same bonuses to everyone, but the cannon gets to be more down the line. Awesome. So the enemy will take the initiative. Desperate attack. Horrible attack. Poor attack. Weak attack. Hmm, average. To be honest, the long and short of it is we have kind of a shitty commander. Well, not really a shitty commander. Moro is alright. Please don't. They did. Right, well, we're gonna go ahead and try and force these guys into a square, which they didn't do, which is more than moderately annoying to me. In fact, I'm greatly annoyed at the resilience of these Austrian troops deciding firmly to hold their ground and it actually inflicting some pretty severe casualties on me because I really needed those troops so hopefully these men rally to the banner maybe you guys can step over there no could you guys move? No? Okay, that's cool. Don't worry about me. What about here? We'll go ahead and try and take out one of their cannons. There we go. Suck it, Austria. Yep. Those guys are gonna get brutally pounded. There we go. Finally. 
I'm just kind of looking at these things. I'm kind of going to start working my way down the right flank. And I don't know if there's a... Um, skip my turn sort of thing. So we'll just go ahead and continue attacking down the line. Come what may, something will happen. Hold that line, gentlemen. That's an order. So we'll go ahead and have a... Oh, that's right, we gotta do the thing. Those men recover from the disorganized state. Their cavalry's already charged, that's good. They'll form up that square right there. Which will disrupt our cavalry, but it will enable us to do some crippling attacks on this flank. If my men could get their heads out of their asses and just... There we go. Thank you. And that enemy unit routes. This gentleman is perfectly within our sights. If we can take him out, we will open the causeway, causeway the pathway for greater victory. And now some Austrian units on the flank are getting disrupted with their attacks. And our men are holding out decently well. And it looks like the Austrians have retreated. Oh, it's a good. Hmm, alright. Not excellent, not terrible. We lost the cannon though, that's the big part of it. But one thing that does do is it threatens, um... Bavaria. Oh, okay, yeah, that's, uh, there's th that. So I suspect they'll march into Piedmont, and they'll force this ship into the Gulf of Marseille, and then we can charge down from Switzerland and crush them. Uh, yeah, I can move into Hanover and we can get rid of British presence on our soil. It's our soil, more or less. Let's see what we have. Um, we could use this on Hanover. There we go. Other things. Bavaria and Tyrol. So I suppose our next goal is to occupy Tyrol and Bavaria, which will give us um Bavaria, and we'll get of those things. I'll upgrade these gentlemen with skirmishers and uh, these gentlemen with skirmishers. Just kind of flicking through what I have. Milan, Venice, Piedmont. Piedmont, Milan, Venice, and the Papal States. So we'll need French troops in all those areas. I think we should secure the Kingdom of uh, Bavaria first. And then march on there. Meanwhile, the British have the bestest army on the field at the moment. That the Prussians could be terrifying. I think a swift kick in the balls to Austria is in order.
Only by slapping Austria right in the crotch can we win this. Uh. Let me guess. Ah, uh, oh, that's actually nice. Russia's not going to war with France. The British move ships around. Smash them together. Not much is surprising. Hmm. Hmm. Egypt. I have three. Let's see if we can keep him occupied. I don't expect anything great from these gentlemen. Oop, oop, you go there. So we're going to totally use our cannon. Oh, wow, we got to keep our cannon. That's nifty as fuck. So we'll go ahead and charge there and get to keep some of our shit. So that's a nice change from regular. And then there goes our shit. Alright, we'll try and make that the focal point of our attacks then. Well, I'm sure glad that did nothing. Please rally. Or don't, it's totally fine. You don't have to. Alright, so we can force them to a square. And we'll see if we can't break through them with our cannons. There we go. That'll loosen up the, the flanks a bit. So that's a question of do we attack the cannon? No. No. Okay, the artillery it is. We'll try and roll up there, um... It's not center flank, it's up. Right flank. Ah, uh, verdammt. Generic. Should I call him generic? Generic. I need you to... <laughs> Damn it. Why can't I ever get troops who want to fight? available here. We'll go ahead and attack that cavalry unit, but there's really no hope for this battle. I'll just attack whoever. But really, at this point, I don't believe this French infantry unit can hold off anything. Yeah, see there, our line's broken. Hmm. Alright. Egypt was really such a minor concern for me that I'm going to count this as a mild strategic victory.
because honestly we we killed the general. very decent general for them that's good enough for me yeah but I mean it was expected is the thing Oh. The army's moved in here to challenge us in Switzerland. Alright. If we pull this off right, we could be able to smash the entire Swiss army in one swift blow. So we've got cavalry. So I'll probably throw cavalry on my flanks. Artillery here, guards. We go there with two infantry on the flanks and a spare infantry right there. Actually, I'm going to push hard my combined forces on this side. And that right flank will just have to hold. Pick it for, I thought it popped down a list. Damn it, I only have one guy who can do that. Oh fuck. Okay. Works for me. Because if we can, we stand a decent chance of being able to win the whole shebang. These guys I want to hang back a bit. Just in case there's a need for it. The guard are going to hit us in the center. going to let them advance on the flanks, see if we can't eliminate them as they come forward. Disruptions. Oop, shit. God, I keep forgetting the controls. What's my attack on this? Average, I'll take average. I disrupt the unit forms a square. We just the cavalry. That's decent. These guys are gonna get rocked. We'll have the guards try and break them later. So for this turn, we're going to focus on trying to smash the center. If our men can reform, good. So Napoleon's managed to reform most of our men. Uh, but our right flank is getting weak. And 
Need some immediate love and care. Make sure we don't break. So we'll go ahead and assault that with the uh, whatever they're called, the dudes. So we'll have the cavalry hit that. We'll have that hit that. And we'll have these guys hit there. So the cavalry will try and smash the cannons. The infantry will attack the Austrians. In an effort to force them to shift. That takes away most of my major concerns for that point, but with the cannons disrupted, they're still dangerous, but they're not. sense the chance that they'll be able to hold. The defender is too well supported is the problem there. The only thing they have worth is salt over here though. So those gents. Hopefully these gents can hold. By god I hope they can. Um, oh that was lucky. Our cannon got taken out. That was unfortunate. I really like that cannon. Actually, if I hit here. Why won't you break? Alright, they'll have to shift someone over. Taking out the cans is a big priority for me right now. It isn't one of the bigger threats to my um, force. scenario we can hold that now and that's looking to be pretty bad with the French just kind of dicking over into that side. All right everyone's going into killing that cavalry next time if we can break that center. Boys we've got to break their center. Cavalry charge, followed by an attack by the guards. How they're managing to hold that damn flank with nothing but 
infantry is beyond me. Alright. The cavalry will charge in, but do nothing much. I'll shift this guy over towards the left because the left is starting to get a little bit uh, weak looking. And I'll pull the left flank back a bit as we're now focusing mostly on breaking the center. Definitely possible with what we have. But I believe the enemy will retreat. And hell yeah, I'll pursue it. And so I believe we'll eliminate one thing. Oh, excellent. We took out their most powerful cannon. That will be extremely useful to us, as we lost quite a bit of infantry, but having lost a second cannon, um, that'll just be great for us. Not as stunning a victory as I would have liked, but it does mean that we can move that second army... Hmm. So you got a card that can force Russia friendly. Mm. They're converting their Egyptian forces. But the Ottomans have decided to not fuck with us, which is nice. And the British have moved to Gibraltar. Hmm. We could move down into Piedmont from Switzerland Oop. and move our infantry in there to join them and drive up south along that route while these men move towards Bavaria. Because at that point it becomes a race for Paris. Vienna, and that's a race we can win. Piedmont. They're down in artillery, but we're down several. I don't think we have any fucking artillery anymore. Hmm. It's disconcerting to say the least. We'll just jump back to Holland. But I think a stab into Bavaria and a rush for Vienna is what is necessary here. If we can take Vienna, then then all things are golden. That means Austria is subdued. We can see about subduing Prussia.
There we go. And I do like the little battle victory messages that pop up. So this means we get to move into Bavaria, which puts us very close towards moving into Vienna, which will mean this army will have to pull back to challenge us. We can move Switzerland to... to, to, to oh, that's right. Alright, well then we should move in down into Piedmont and push up along the coast of Venice. And we'll seize those territories from Austria. Though they have the cannon, which will make it moderately difficult. Let's see. I'm thinking we'll put our best troops into smashing through. Enemy right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if we can smash through that right. center weak. I don't like having a weak center. Uh, we can probably hold the center. We'll have to push up hard on either flank though. This calls for an immediate advance on the enemy right though. With our cavalry. Oops, I see. Doing the initial attacking on the left flank. Hopefully they'll hold that square. And on the enemy center, we'll have to let them come to us, which should give us time to eliminate some things. Yeah, so we missed the first square attack. I suspect an infantry attack upon that gentleman soon. Not very soon. Cavalry will probably come down. We'll be hit by the cannon unless we take the cannon. Oh, excellent. That takes out the Austrian cannon, which is wonderful on strategic and a tactical level. Um, but we'll go ahead and hand the initiative to them, and hopefully that man can hold. I guess we'll have a standoff over the center. And hopefully all our men on the left flank regain their composure. Because that'll mean we can resume our large attack on the left flank. The enemy's right. Um, oop, no. What is this then? It's a good attack. Uh, that eliminates them. If we can push very hard on the right, they'll be forced to shift units off the center. Damn. I really like that guy. It's a big game of emptying that center right now. And now we empty the left. Somehow we need to. Come on, gentlemen. There we go.
hold that line. Apparently Frenchmen do not run away. They merely fly on the field of battle. Though all too readily, apparently, it seems. So that's a four and a two. Please, please, please. Yes! We broke the enemy's line. And they are going to run like chickens with their heads cut off. I believe we will only have one cavalry unit available for this. But we will eliminate uh, both the infantry and the cavalry. I believe that's what that means. Oh no, we get the infantry and a different cavalry. Excellent. We broke their line, which meant that their entire army had to retreat. A very wonderful mechanic. Because <laughs> it means you can limit your casualties if you can focus on the correct flank. Anyway, that army will be forced to retreat from Piedmont into uh, Milan. If only I had artillery. <laughs> um, Massonet, we will combine with Napoleon in Piedmont. And if Bavaria can hold against. Um, Hisberg, who may just push for Belgium, but if Bavaria can hold, then we'll have a very good shot at um, taking Vienna. And if not, then there's not too much concern. I mean, after all, it's just Bavaria. Oop, no. Yeah. These are garrison units, right? Yeah, they're pretty shitty. Wish I had some cannons. Anyway, we'll take Vienna, we'll try and hold Vienna. Holding Vienna will probably be the hard part. And there's all these angry bastards. Let's see who's, uh... uh We'll need to raise Russia's happiness points. Yeah, we've given them a bit. What do we have? Drrr. Yeah, we'll get some horse artillery at some point. Probably around the point where we get artillery. Well, we'll do a Piedmont push through Milan and Vien Venice up towards... Probably Tyrol and then Vienna. We could claim Bavaria now, and if we got troops in Tyrol. Actually, if we take Vienna, I'll put troops in Bavaria and we'll march towards Tyrol. And then we'll form the Kingdom of uh, Bavaria which will help make the map more blue, which is something everyone wants. Hopefully at some point during that, the brutes will land and we'll be able to do anything and everything they could ever possibly want. But I believe it's been about 30 minutes, so until next time, I've been your Commander Tomato. I'll see you when everything goes tits up next time. Good day.